So the basis of any roux is your butter and I'm popping a tablespoonful of butter in there. And then we add a tablespoonful of plain flour to that and just give that a nice mix around until it forms quite a clumpy consistency. And then we slowly start adding 200 milliliters of milk. And just keep stirring that to prevent any lumps forming whatsoever. And we just keep adding the milk until we get a nice consistency. Don't worry if it looks like there's lumps at this point. The more you stir it, they will obviously disappear. Once you have added all of that milk, add your 30 grams of any hard cheese. And again, keep stirring to get the desired consistency. And when that is nicely simmering, we pop in half a teaspoon of Dijon. Grate approximately half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And just give it a sprinkling of salt and pepper. And there you have a very classic cheese sauce, which will be perfect for these Cook Madame muffins. Next, we get four slices of cheap bog standard supermarket white sliced loaf. Remove the crusts from those, and then each one of them roll out with a rolling pin. Put a decent amount of pressure on it so it goes nice and flat. Next, take each one of the rolled out pieces of bread and very gently squeeze it into the muffin tray and be sure to push it round the edges so that it's nicely packed in there, packed nice and tightly. This muffin tray has seen so much action over the years and I personally, uh, I see some of these food instruction videos online and I often think look at how clean their uh, their trays are but then I think it's a sign of a not particularly well used kitchen isn't it so uh, I like all the action this has had and all the marks and scars that it has from many cooking debacles over the years mostly Yorkshire puddings I should add so once we've got those nicely snuggled in, and as you can see, they all sit very differently, that doesn't matter. Once we've got those nestled in, we want to coat them with our melted butter. Now that we have done that, we take the four rashers of bacon, which we have already fried off. You can use ham, uh, you can use back bacon. I much prefer streaky because obviously you've got all that additional flavor. So approximately one streaky rasher per muffin. And just pop that in.
And next we add an egg to each one of those muffins. Don't worry if one of them breaks. Aesthetically, it might not be the best, but trust me, it doesn't affect the uh, flavor. Now, this one's a little bit more shallow, so what I'll do in this instance is simply get rid of the white and just pop the yolk in there. Now, simply pour approximately one to two tablespoons of that gorgeous cheese sauce over the top of these. Don't worry if it starts to run out like that. And finally, we sprinkle a little bit of grated hard cheese over the top of each of those muffins. And now we simply pop these in the oven, 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. If you want them slightly runny in the middle of the uh, eggs, then approximately 15 minutes. If you'd like them more firm then 18 minutes. And if you think these look good, trust me when I say they taste even better. They are absolutely incredible. And just look at those lovely, gooey, melt-in-the-middle croque madame muffins.